what's his bloody name with Kyrie Irving right with the whole affair that he's currently struggling and going through in terms of him basically sharing the anti-semitic film or documentary that was on Amazon and he did it in the kind of in around the time when Kanye was getting cancelled for his anti-semitic or the things that people deem to be anti-semitic which I would say were anti-semitic he didn't really have a real kind of bigger point that he was trying to get at he was essentially just trying to you know speak his piece and say his thing basically you know just to kind of protect himself but in general during that whole conversation Kyrie kind of decided to put his hat in the ring and it looks like he has maybe suffered the harshest penalty because he's not global superstar like Kanye West and he's also not a creative super house like Kanye West so he can't exactly just start his own thing and be okay because his talent's gonna carry him over kind of Kanye is kind of okay in that regard even if he does get cancelled he has no bank account can't sell Adidas shoes he can't do Nike collabs because he's such a creative powerhouse and he has such a fervent crazy group of fans he's never really gonna ever be cancelled so he's pretty much okay but I remember when I saw this article online I really was a bit disturbed and it kind of left an icky taste in my mouth I can understand not really being happy with Kyrie and saying hey he should have clarified his comments I think when he was given the opportunity to basically say he wasn't anti-semitic he didn't really say it kind of gave a vague very Kyrie Irving response in terms of how can I be an anti-semite if I know my history sort of thing which basically alluded to the fact that he might be Israelite himself but he didn't really clear up and say hey i'm not anti-semite and that's what basically made people feel offended right and i know the apology wasn't the greatest but then later on he did make an apology it doesn't matter if it wasn't authentic or right real or not i think most people who get caught doing you know naughty things do they really mean their apology i don't really think they mean their apology it's just you know they're basically sad and upset and sorry they got caught i think the same thing happens or got caught out or got kind of consequences the same thing could be applied to Kyrie Irving. he says what he says people don't like it and then he basically makes an apology they don't like that either and then i guess he Brooklyn Nets fine him and they also put this in place which is the Nets give Kyrie Irving six requirements to fulfill before he can return from suspension per report so it's legitimately as Dark Web J is saying in the chat they're basically raking him over the coals legitimately maybe some people would argue that it's maybe warranted and maybe this is karma because for the longest time Kyrie's kind of took in basketball for granted you may say if you want to be critical of him how he kind of acts outside of the court the things he says during the whole COVID thing and whatever right but i think in general you should be allowed to say what you want to say to some certain extent and if what you say is deemed to be quote unquote wrong speak you should be allowed to apologize and kind of get back to your job especially if your job is kind of bouncing a basketball it shouldn't be that deep really but obviously they're trying to make an example of him to essentially um, scare everybody else off from trying to voice their opinions which you could say is uh, similar to the old uh, practice of flipping um, buck breaking it says after several days of calls for Brooklyn Nets to suspend Kyrie Irving from promoting a film filled with anti-semitic tropes on his social media accounts the franchise went through it on Thursday suspending the all-star guard for a minimum of five games without pay insane right um i don't think even flipping those owners or flipping teams get that if they kind of do some naughty stuff i don't think it happens that way this came after giving irving several attempts to apologize for promoting the film and disavow anti-semitism as well as the nba commissioner adam silver issuing a public statement expressing his deep disappointment in order to reinstate look at here this right here this this is something like even your parents wouldn't do this to you even your own parents wouldn't embarrass you this way you do something messed up you do something make them embarrassed embarrassed uh, to make them angry especially if you come from an African household you might get a belt you might get a wooden spoon you might get a slap you might get grounded for a long period of time but you don't get these set of flipping requirements you need to be reintegrated back into the family and stuff it doesn't happen that way but this was what they said he needs to one apologize and condemn the film that he promoted two make a half a million donation to the anti-hate causes oh right half a million is going to make everything right three complete sensitivity training whatever that means four complete anti-semitism training whatever that means right it sounds like indoctrination to me and the fourth um fifth sorry meet the adl and the jewish leaders which is the anti defense league i'm assuming and then six meet with team owner joe's side to demonstrate an understanding of your situation so the owner of the brooklyn list is going to give him a pop quiz about all the things he's learned about flipping what jewish culture and stuff maybe ask him if he knows who Anne frank is like loads of no, probably don't ask him if he, if he thinks Anne frank is real but all those kind of things he's going to be asking him in the flipping exam to prove that he's sorry to the jewish community are you crazy are you absolutely crazy this is what you have to do for and let's 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 put this into context 
what Kanye said was nuts, right? Him essentially waging a war on the Jewish community in an effort to get himself out of that Adidas contract was legitimately insane. And he didn't have any care for anybody else. He wasn't doing it to kind of to talk about the larger, you know, um, question about the oversized influence of some people from the Jewish community in the entertainment industry. He wasn't talking about that. He was just being selfish and being a cunt and essentially trying to upset people. What Kanye did was obviously abhorrent, in my opinion. Kyrie trying to be an edgelord and throwing his hat in a ring and sharing a screenshot of a documentary that exists on Amazon. Why aren't they going for flipping Jeff Bezos? Why aren't they attacking him and saying to him, why have you got this flipping thing on your platform? That's who you should be attacking, not bloody Kyrie Irving. He shares a screenshot of the flipping thing and now his entire world is coming apart at the seams. It's absolutely ridiculous and I hate every part of